Next on Money Hunters, we're taking on one of our toughest renovations yet. I am not so sure we were gonna be able to pull this off. Between careless spending. I'm sorry, but it's just not in your budget. Child, please. And unexpected headaches. That's a surprise that's gonna cost a couple thousand. We're gonna have to change the title of the show to Money Miracles. Maybe, but for now, get ready for what we do best on Money Hunters. Ryan and Rory Beasley recently moved into their suburban home to raise their son, Sammy. We found this house, and it had a great addition, and that's the main reason why we bought the house. But the addition is a big, blank mess that Rory thought he could take on himself. My husband, Rory, has great intentions to get the work done around the house, but nothing's been done. With Sammy's toys taking over their current living room and another little one on the way, they need the prime real estate the addition offers, and fast. Enter the Money Hunters. Engineer extraordinaire Deanne Bell is going to get her geek on while I put my contractor skills to task. Wow, somebody got started on something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just bought this house about three months ago, and we bought it like this. And as you can see, it's pretty much a hot mess. It looks like it got off to a running start, yeah. and, and then it tripped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, this drywall job is probably the worst. This looks like a cake. Icing job gone bad. This isn't a DIY job, it's a DIW job. Did it wrong. We have a little kiddo, so we just want to have something that's open where we can kind of hang out and then he can kind of have his little play area. Over here, um, I'm thinking maybe something where we can put our shoes and then maybe hang coats or something. I like it. I think over here would be dedicated to the little kid zone. I mean, as in you want a separate room or? Um, I don't know about separating off completely, but maybe like kind of like this isn't really here, you know? You don't see this going <laughs> The old Wizard here. of Oz. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's this little area over here? What we're standing in is my bathroom that hubby here promised to do for me. <laughs> what happened, dude? Um, time happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice space for a bathroom, but there is no plumbing. <laughs> yeah. We can put in plumbing, but that's gonna cost you quite a bit. So it just, I guess the big question is, how much are you willing to spend on this whole space? 7,500? Oh, I was hoping you were gonna say like 16 to 17,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> 7,500. <laughs> Wow, we're gonna have to dig deep here, guys. Okay. To top it off, a bathroom where no bathroom should go. Check out how we make the impossible possible. I wanna take a look at the plumbing situation for the bathroom. Oh, jeez. Matt, we got a problem. Problem? Yeah, take what? a look. Poop pipe is above the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> That's crappy. Literally. Plumbing 101, you always install standard toilets above the sewer line so that gravity helps flush everything down and out. If you install a standard toilet below the sewer line, gravity's not your friend and you're gonna have a disaster on your hands. That's gonna be expensive. Yeah, that's a surprise that's gonna cost a couple thou. But we need to bring in a plumber and I think we need to figure out how much it's gonna cost because their budget is tight. <laughs> Keep it cheap or this house is staying in one bathroom. Yeah, and they're <laughs> not gonna like that. The plumbing discovery was a smack in the face of an otherwise easy day money-wise. With less than 5 thou left and the bathroom still in question, my money hunter sense is starting to tingle. Next, Deanne shows Rory a toilet that's a true feat of engineering. This is basically a glorified garbage disposal. And later, I cook up some storage for the play area. You know what this is? A kitchen cabinet. Things are starting to come together in the Beasley space. The tile that was collecting dust got put to use in the bathroom. It looks great, and the best part, it was free. We had to drop $700 for the plumbing rough-in, but the good times don't stop there. To complete the bathroom, we'll need a one-of-a-kind toilet. This is my friend Bob. He's a plumber. He has lots of experience installing toilets below the main sewage line. Um, so the first option, Bob, is to put in the old school way. Now, how much would that cost? Uh, you're looking about $3,000 to dig up the concrete, put the pump in, and the pit. But Bob's going to show us a system that's actually more affordable. What this is, this is an up-flush toilet system where the toilet flushes into a macerator unit. This is basically a glorified uh, garbage disposal. You know how you put food in the garbage disposal? Right. This does the same thing, but just for human waste. 
how much would the toilet and the macerator cost? The toilet and the pump together about $900. Okay, okay. so we add that to the rough and plumbing that right. we already spent. So right. total cost, we're looking at $1,600 yes. versus $3,000 for the old system. That is wonderful. We totally just dodged a money hunter bullet with that new toilet system. With space in the bathroom pretty tight, we're installing the macerator in the closet behind the toilet. Doors, trim, and paint ran us $700. Another $150 went towards lighting. Roy went and shelled out $750 for a new TV. And with $900 for the upflush toilet, plus $600 more for sink and fixtures, the bathroom, and possibly our budget, is done. We finally have another bathroom. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't sure if we could make this happen, but you guys got this awesome upflush toilet. The whole unit cost us 900 bucks. The rough and plumbing was 700. This whole bathroom cost 2350.